Hello, Lois. What is crack a lacking in Dolly World? So I am here with baby Jasper. That is his name for now, but he he does have a new name. His mom has renamed him. Uh, what did she say she named him? Anyway, that's her business to tell. I can't give out his name yet, but I I forgot what it was. But it was something that I had thought of using before with one of my babies but didn't so he still got little hairs all over him so i gotta try not to pick on him because you know i clipped his hair a little bit shorter um after he got his bath and everything so he'll have to get another good bath i didn't notice he's that the hair still got on him but um he, I am, I am waiting. He's all paid for and ready to go. Um, <clears throat> I mean, as far as that part goes, um, I am waiting on a few special items for him to arrive. And um, so hopefully he'll get to go out next week. But in the meantime, I'm going to be doing any little touch-ups that I might see on him that he might need um he is one of my babies that i you know i have this lately i've had this really big thing with like labeling my babies like boo boo babies or whatever the case may be and stuff if the slightest thing um is you know not perfect with them or something like that but anyway um, this, uh, kit is the birdies kit by Elsie Rodriguez and he was painted and rooted by me. A lot of these kits have sold for quite a bit of money, almost three grand. Um, I did not, you know, sell him for the max. I think I could have had. I felt he was like totally, totally perfect, but you know how silicone go. But his coloring is just whoa, and I love his details. So I'm really actually still proud at how he came out, and I think he's super adorable, actually. So I'm, plus his mommy is really, really a special repeat customer. So um, I really, she really was in love with him, and um, She's been in love with him for a while. And sometimes that just makes all the difference for me. Um, not saying that, you know, <laughs> trust me when I want my money and I'm making my money. I, you know, we ain't friends and we ain't family. <laughs> when it comes to the money, to be honest, I know a lot of artists, you know, like to play that role and stuff like that or whatever. I... I'm very direct I like business to be business but um, I do think that you know sometimes you do have to acknowledge and appreciate uh, your your customers and your loyal customers and um, loyal fans and stuff that you know people that have just been following your work and your channel and whatever the case may be for a long time I do I think I I feel like people should show some type of appreciation just because I mean, you wouldn't have necessarily grown with population as much if people wasn't really like buying your work. <laughs> um, but anyway, he um, normally a baby so tiny, I probably would have like tried to make it like even less hair. But trust me, it makes sense. He needs he needed the somewhat full head of hair I tried to make it as full as I could without it looking unrealistic um so um uh, but say I'm gonna blend into my family because my family has lots of hair <laughs> um but yeah so he's, he's a little cutie pie um I love and like I told y'all he does have little hair 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 on him so if you see that, don't be freaked out. Um, don't worry, he's getting a bath and all that before he goes home. But I love the way when, you know, the little wrinkles in him. Oh, he's so cute. So, 
he's a little cutie. One of the other things I liked about him was his feet. I like the little little feet. I love little feet. So he's just a little tiny peanut. I just thought I would bring him on, you know, to show him in my arms or not arms, but lap mostly just because I just wanted people to see just how tiny he is. And you know, a lot of people don't want to pay a lot of money for uh, the smaller babies. But what people don't realize is that it's actually more work painting the tiny babies because you got these fine little details that you got to try to get into these little, little tiny spaces. And, you know, you got this big old, the brush is bigger than the baby and all that and stuff. So, also, guys, this blanket, I really love this blanket. I saw the tag on it somewhere. I didn't even know it had a tag. But I I got it in a box opening of one of my private babies. Um... And it says crochet by Leanne Taki. I don't know who that is, but shout out to her because this is a beautiful blanket. Um, I really liked it. When I, I got it, I was like, oh, I love this blanket. So I'm gonna um I'm gonna see if I can look that up. Actually, I'll just write the artist and ask her who, who did this. I almost, I wonder if Leanne is the other girl that be at the doll show. Because I bought a baby from um, Tanya Patterson, which is uh, just a doll. Um, just for sentimental purposes, mainly. Um, met her at a couple doll shows. She's just, just have very high energy and just a positive person. And I don't like to, my friend, one of my friends say, oh, you're always trying to kill kill off yourself. Um, but I, I don't like to talk like, you know, morbid or anything like that. But um, before I do ever leave here, I, I would love to be able to, you know, if able to grow old, be able to have babies in my collection or dolls in my collection that have meaning and trigger positive memories, if that makes sense. So I figure when I get older, I'll look at that doll and I'll say, oh, I remember this lady I met at the doll shows several times and she was always so pleasant and she always was so encouraging to me and, you know, blah, 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 blah. Or I look at this, you know, doll and I remember this person, she didn't know her work. She was an amazing artist in the making, but she had no clue where she was going. And I have, you know, a doll like that in my collection that I feel like the artists don't know exactly how talented they are. Um, I have other dolls in my collection where it's a mix of emotions that is, you know, good and not so good. But I hold on to it because... I just hold on to that that moment of the good part of when I collected the doll. The things that followed after that and stuff like that, I kind of try my hardest to separate it from that particular doll. I won't say which doll that is. Um, but, you know, that's the way this community works. If you get too invested, too consumed... You know, people are people. We're not perfect. Um, sometimes you're going to vibe and sometimes you're not. But anyway, so this is him. His little head bobbles a little. Not like crazily. But look at his little wrinkles. He do wrinkle really nicely. Look at there. <laughs> um, he do have uh, armatures in him. It was more of like an experiment. I didn't put it in, in him, but... Um, I do have to say you have to, you know, be, hold it when you're moving in. Just, you know, be careful. Don't overdo it. I just didn't like the hands being so straight down. So I begged the, uh, I begged for them to be put in. So, um, so yeah, so that's the only thing that I think. That just need to be cautious with with him.
because they're not like super soft armatures but um what else about this little boy he's very special to me he's the birdie sculpt and as you guys know linda's channel was birdie's babies and um i know sometimes y'all get tired of me talking about that but um she actually came up with the name jasper so um for him so i will always probably reference him as jasper but he definitely have a new name and that is the mommy's right um i do totally believe that <laughs> linda would have gotten this baby <laughs> she would have had this baby um but i don't know i just i i, I really love his skin tone i love how he turned out I will tell you guys something that's weird about me um that I I really learned I am very chicken like I'm a coward when it comes to going into deeper tones into silicone and but it's so funny I will actually do it with the preemies like the preemies are the only babies that other than phoebe that i will just die deep like really just keep going um i don't know what it is about that but the other preemie that i did which was penelope penelope on camera looked a little lighter than what she was but in person she was actually even darker than what she showed on camera so, um, she's a really, she was a really, I really loved Penelope. I loved her skull. Um, I, I was kind of torn on her face, the sculpting on her face, but she has a beautiful body style and everything. And I loved, I love Penelope. And again, Linda got her. I was so nervous about selling her. I remember I was so scared about selling her. Like I was like, Oh my God, what if they don't like her? You know, that's the biggest thing about us with, um, with selling your art. I, I don't know. Some people are very confident and some people are even cocky with it. And some people just, you know, they know, they know their worth. They know they're good. They know, you know, that people love their work and they don't have issues and there are people that I've, I'm learning and hearing little stories in the background that there are other artists that are really really good that doubt themselves too so that's kind of it was kind of mind-blowing to know that um I don't really consider myself to be an artist still really deep down to be honest I I refer to myself as that in the community now um because people like really gets me when I get on to me when I don't but um man I I didn't know that like real artists artists like do that too to themselves so but yeah so this this baby is really special to me and I will let you guys on another secret I am waiting to see if I am going to be expecting um and if I do it, it is gonna be another preemie and I'm really, I'm going to be really excited about that one. I think I'm going to share that whole journey with, uh, with you guys. I, th I think it would just be fun. Um, I probably will get a jump start on it and work on the baby quite a bit before I actually get into the sharing part of it. But I do want to document the process of this next baby because... I don't know like I feel like I'm getting old because I keep like every th every baby has like a, a story or a reason why I chase a particular sculpt not everyone I'm working on a baby now that I actually got because people kept saying oh you won't paint these people's sculpts oh they're so cute I wish you would paint them and I got them like yeah let me get these little things I'll do what I can do with them or whatever and got the other one even though <laughs> i ain't gonna even say that let me i'm just leave a mess out of it but when i got to one particular one uh the sleeper i was like 
oh my gosh like i i don't know if y'all know this about me this is another weird thing about me i am a super nut about babies that have really egg like newborn shaped heads i love like realistic shape shape heads like um most babies that i've seen in person as newborns uh have like a more of a like a egg shape i don't know how to explain it but oh my god like a perfectly shaped head um claire teller is really good at doing the head shapes that's why that's one of the reasons why i think a lot of her babies tend to have a, like a realistic look because of the the, the head shapes Bonnie Brown is another amazing person with head shapes. Who else? Um, I really like my Marita Winters baby's head shape. Just different babies. Um, um, Silicone Studio babies have good shape heads too. Um, so anyway, it's a lot of them out here. It's not just one particular sculptor or whatever. But this one, I was just like, oh my gosh. So... I don't know what it is about that baby, but I do really like it. The one that it's one that I'm working on, and you guys will see it later. But um the baby that I am trying to see if I'm gonna be expecting is so funny because I fell in love with it before it was into silicone fully. And I didn't really know why I, you know my friends tease me and say I like ugly babies or whatever the case may be um I didn't know if they would like that so far they didn't say it was ugly they usually t some of my friends don't tell me my babies were ugly until after I sell them but um that's okay I really don't want them to tell me it's ugly <laughs> not this one like damn spare my feelings on this one um but seriously I I I think it's really cute. Um, it is actually a portrait of a real baby. But the funny thing is, I was looking for my inspiration pictures because I'll do that. Like, I'll daydream of all these pictures of real babies until I actually start painting. And even before I paint, sometimes I have the sculpt here and I'll have it just laying. I'll prep it, but I won't touch it. I'll just look at all types of pictures and just kind of visualize it or picture it with color on it. And so... I painted in my head first, if that makes sense. So I'm sitting here and I'm trying to think of how I'm going to be painting this baby because I already know I definitely want to try a deeper tone on it. So I'm like, dang, I'm like this, this baby. <coughs> I'm sorry. Oh God, mommy's probably like, oh, she's coughing on my baby. No, we've already went over that. Mommy's already know this baby's going to get a full bath and... <coughs> Sorry, I'll probably have to edit that out. Not, but this baby's gonna get a full bath and then I'm gonna wipe him down with alcohol as well. Um, so he, he ain't even, uh, actually he's gonna end up with two baths cause he's gonna get a bath before I go in and do some, um, oh, that scared me. Okay, let me get you off this little blanket. A little piece of orange, uh, yarn from this blanket got on him and I was like <gasps> where he get orange paint on him but um anyway this was yarn but yeah so he's gonna get wiped down he's gonna get then he's after he get whatever little touch ups he's gonna get another bath and then a, 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 a wipe down with alcohol so he'll be good and, and sanitized I trust me I believe in sparing people personal germs um, I can't say that for other people because I'm telling you, the amount of cat hair, human hair, and crap that I've gotten in the last few box openings and, um, packages have been unreal. I feel like almost like people are just being funny at this point. But, nevertheless, look at him. What? I was supposed to pick up my other baby that's sitting here, but I just can't put him down. Um... But, oh yeah, so getting to the point. Oh my god, this video is too long. So, I, um, 
uh, the baby, I was looking at the premium pictures and then lo and behold, there is my grandbabies. You guys know I have two, uh, my first daughter had my first grandbabies, which were twins and Audrey and Aubrey. And there it was, the picture. Oh my God, it is like strikingly so close in resemblance of this sculpt in the face. And I'm just like, and this the frame and everything. I'm just like, oh my goodness. So I'm like, wow. But I'm not gonna paint it like them because um, first of all, I don't know which twin it is, that I'm looking at on the picture. I should have labeled the pictures, but I don't know which one it is. I want to think that it's my angel baby, grand baby, but I, um, and I, I, I won't share her photo. She had her little tubes in her nose and stuff like that. I won't show that publicly. Um, I did share it with a personal friend though, um, in the community. Um, and she agreed it does look like 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 her. But I won't paint it like her because she was on the lighter skin tone side. And I want this baby to be darker. But it's just, it was just like, wow. I wonder if subconsciously that's why I'm so drawn to the sculpt. I actually was supposed to get this sculpt like way back when. And then my grandmother died un like unexpectedly. And when... It was time for me to get it. I, I didn't know what was going to happen, what was going on. Um, I didn't know what I, you know, what, what that was going to mean for, for me when my grand, grandmother passed. So I didn't want to spend like, you know, unnecessary money. You know, because sometimes family is trying to come in from out of town and you just don't know who you might need to help during that time or whatever the case may be. But anyway, everything went fine though. Um, but I wasn't in no mood to buy right at that moment. But anyway, so here goes. I am hoping that, that this happens for me. But this this will be this will be amazing. It will be amazing. <laughs> Anyway, um, so yeah, so I think I'm getting old. Like every baby just have a story. But I'm going to stop this video here and I will catch up with you guys later. He is driving me crazy. He needs a good bath. I think I might do his eyebrows and eyelashes over. And, but yeah, I will show him again. I will show more pictures of him before he leaves. I'll show, probably do a, I might do a video of his little things that he go home with, I don't know. Or at least some pictures in some of his little outfits, but that's him too, to get me. <laughs> so he, he is a little softy. He's soft, but he's not like gummy gummy. But I think he's a fun size, especially for mommy likes to travel with baby sometimes. This will be a good travel baby. <sighs> So cute. Okay, let me go.